Panoorin natin si Miss Makati Michelle D sa preliminary interview ng Miss Universe Philippines 2023 pageant. Michelle Marquez D. Good morning everyone. Congratulations, you're halfway through. I'm usually the halfway mark for the provinces. Tell us something interesting about yourself. Thank you. Well, I am a lifelong advocate. I'm an actress. I'm an entrepreneur. But I think the most interesting part about myself is the willpower that I have in everything that I do. I wear very many hats. Actually, two weeks ago, I was in the hospital. I was fighting for my life because I lost so much blood. Um, on my birthday, no less, and I had to undergo through surgery. Um, but I think what I'm trying to inspire here is that with everything that I do, I put 100% of myself and I realize that this is a mission and that in all of those facets that I take on, I will always give it my all. What makes someone influential in this day and age amidst the shallow social media noise? Well, social media actually plays a very vital part in terms of, you know, in uh, social media negativity and it can also spread a lot of positivity as well. I think we have to realize that all of us are very influential in our own light, whether it be negative and positive. And what I should do, and what I hope others will do also, is that we should be accountable for our actions. We should always be kind. One positive comment can go a long way, but one negative comment can also send somebody in tears. Thank you. Hey, Wilmer. As a delegate for Miss Universe Philippines 2023, what does our national gem, the South Sea Pearl, represent to you? Well, the South Sea Pearl is an amazing thing, and I think it can actually represent every Filipino. For me, my pageant journey, for every, pa for every time that I've joined, I've discovered something new about myself, something beautiful, and perfection takes time. And just like the South Sea Pearl, it takes months, if not years, to perfect that. And for every Filipina, we embody this, this kind of ambiance and this kind of perfection that we should really be proud to show the world. How important do you think it is to support and promote locally made products like Smiley in the Philippines? Well, I actually really admire Smiley because it's a brand that empowers Filipino because not only is it made by the Filipino but for the Filipino as well. For every shirt that is made by Smiley, it, uh, it gives opportunities for Filipinos to have more jobs or to represent a brand that actually sets the standard and it can really compete internationally. And I really believe that it's about time that we show the world that we have more products that can really compete and be proud of internationally. And one last question is, yes. how do you balance cultural and traditional values with modern day aspirations? And what advice would you give to other young Filipinas navigating this challenge? I think the best way to do that is by example. I am an empowered Filipina that respects my roots, respects what I come, where I came from. I am tenacious. I am dedicated with everything that I do. And that is something that I believe is present in every Filipino around the world. But at the same time, I am not afraid to break stereotypes. I am not afraid to break boundaries, whether in pageantry I sported short hair whether in my acting gigs, I would sport the most masculine job that represents adrenaline-filled activities. And that's something that I'm very proud of and I thank hope other people thank you. Thank you aspire very to much. do as well. Thank Th you so much. Thank you very much, Makati.